One, two, three. <laughs> hello. <laughs> so should we do hello? That's a hand. Okay. I don't okay know. One, two, three. Hey. My name is Candice. My name is Crystal. And we are the C and C Cupcake. Just kidding. Um, the title is a work in progress. Yeah. So that was not our real name. I only said it because we worked together before. In yeah. high school, where we sold cupcakes together, and that was the name, which is kind of like it's not the most original, but whatever. Um, but yeah, the reason that we are doing this is because uh, my good friend here just moved to London a few days ago five days ago, to be exact. Yeah, and we moved in together, and we were like, wow, we are two young women in our early 20s trying to start something in London, why not? try to, I guess, document it and make something out of it since, you know, this is the time where we're growing, learning new things every day, hustling and making things work. So we thought this would be the perfect opportunity for us to like document it and put it out yeah, there. Yeah, absolutely. And to give you a little background about ourselves, um, we're both 23 this year. So we are entering a very exciting point in our lives. I once again moved here five days ago to London. I moved from Vancouver, Canada, where I had completed my undergraduate. I received a bachelor's degree there, and I had I studied history and philosophy of science with a minor in economics. I will be pursuing my master's in journalism uh, next September, so 2021, which will be very exciting because I have a year here to settle in, to do, to get used to my environment, um, to find some work, hopefully in the middle of a pandemic, as we all are, trying to find work. And that's a little bit about myself. Yeah, so we met each other in high school back in Guangzhou, China. And so, and then I moved to Boston in the US to pursue my bachelor's degree. And then, well, I initially was like studying biology because I was, I, I was under the impression that I was going into like a medical field afterwards, but I was never really passionate about it. I'd never really, like was super certain that's what I wanted to do and then I discovered anthropology halfway through my college years and I kind of like fell in love with it I love like learning about different people, different cultures and sort of being able to see things from a different perspective and sort of just connecting with people at the most fundamental level so and then I started to you know pick back up photography being back in touch with my creative side and um, well, I did spend a semester in Nepal and then I sort of realized that this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to keep like learning and keep meeting new people, keep discovering things about myself and uh, my relationship with the world. And so, so that's kind of how I decided to pursue my master's in visual anthropology here in London. And I just graduated. Well, I didn't graduate because I don't have a degree yet, huh? But I submitted my dissertation last week, so I'm in the process of getting my degree, which is yay! It's very exciting. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, um, so now I'm just basically trying to put my foot into the film slash creative industry mm -hmm. here in London. So that's kind of where I'm. Where I'm at. We're experimenting and experiencing a lot of different changes. Um, so that includes dating, career, well just like being from a different cultural background, right? Like we both grew up in China. Well, I well I grew up in China. You also sort of grew up in China. We kind of moved around a lot when we were growing up. Yeah. So I feel like that's something that's is a huge part of our identities and we definitely encounter a lot of things throughout like every day where we have to deal with like cultural differences or experiencing things where like ooh like that's really interesting, so that's some, something that we want to kind of talk about as well because I feel like we definitely aren't the only people that are experiencing things. I in particular have only just moved here, so I have so much to learn. Um, and yeah, we just want to document that process and share it with people because we believe that there has to be some sort of community like this out there, right? And we would like to be Or maybe we can it. create one, I don't know. That's what YouTube's for, right? Creating communities and connecting with people out there who might, you know. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Find so, out there. yeah, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> um, basically, we're just gonna like be making like 
little video podcast that like touch upon like things that we were talking about before yeah you know and also since i'm a filmmaker i also want to use this as an opportunity to grow as a filmmaker practice editing practice filmmaking and connect with people meet new people and create stories that have an impact so that sounds great Thanks, Crystal! <laughs> and I'm along for the ride. I'm here for moral support, um, but I also love to talk about these kind of things, and I do usually in my day to day life with my close circle of friends. So I thought, why not do this in front of a camera instead? And we're kind of here to like support each other to grow oh, yeah. and learn about ourselves, and I feel like I'm all I'm here for that. That's all I'm here for personal growth, you know, so. <laughs> and also YouTube. And also support each other. So thanks, thanks for tuning in. Thanks. Okay, bye now. Bye.